guys, so today we're going to be talking about machine learning. Okay, so first of all, to understand what machine learning is, you got to understand how a machine gets input and like puts out output. Okay, so whenever we put input into a machine, it gives an output as a result. So, and now that you understand about input and output, the definition of mach machine learning is like, I mean, maybe not definition, but the understanding pretty much, tra is training a machine to do things that humans can do much faster. Okay, so let's say that, okay, so let's say that you want to put in, maybe let's say a home movie. So let's say that you want to put out a movie at home. And you want the machine or whatever is like putting the movie to like put in the settings you want. Like more quality or like less sound or more sound. I mean, high, I mean high quality is pretty usual, but you know, just anyway, just for now. Okay, so let's just draw an x-axis and a y-axis. So this is the y-axis and the x-axis. So, let's say that you want to put in, so here comes in the volume and here comes in the quality. Okay, so here the volume is more or less. Okay, so more or less. And here the quality is more or less. Okay, so now that we put the labels, let's say that there's some, let's just say that, because you know, this is just an example. Okay, so let's say that you want to have, like, let's say a movie with less volume and more quality, um, pretty much usual. So, so let's say that you pick movie. So let's say that you train the machine to put in something you like by telling that you want less volume and more quality. So then, let's say that the machine picks a setting, setting A. So. So setting A is with less volume and more quality. Somewhere like here, I guess. You know, pretty much most of the time close. Okay, so I'll just put a dot here because that's more accurate. Okay, so, so this is like less volume and more quality, right? And since you train the machine to put in less volume and more quality, it chose A since it was less volume and more quality. Okay, so A is like something you like. Because you know, you wanted this sort of thing. So you like the settings A. Okay, now, what if, like, let's say that there's song, let's say song B, for example. Like, let's say somewhere, I think, here. You know, just say that it's up to the quality area. Okay, so, so these stuff are like, you know, less quality, I mean, less volume and more quality. Okay, so how? Does the machine know that this is something that is wanted by the user or no? That's where machine learning comes in. So the machine learns and learns by the data provided and will predict whether if this is wanted or no. Okay, so one way we might do this if we train a machine or if I Let's say that, okay, so this one is more closer to these, which is like in the middle volume, medium volume, 
but less quality. So, and since it's not near the ones that the person or the user likes, this, this is not a wanted option. So, we want A, but since B is more closer to the less quality, it is no. Okay, so that's, okay, so the, the way this machine learns this is by an algorithm. So whenever you train a machine, you need to provide it an algorithm to like put in the correct output. Okay, so now, so now, so this is just some sort of algorithm. I mean, it's not exactly a, a made algorithm, but anyway. Okay, so, so let's talk about how machine learning, machine learning actually works, since we know this. So, whenever you want a machine to like put out something you want, you you put in the you put in input. You know, I'll just put in I and O for short. I. And with this input, the machine puts in some sort of algorithm that it needs to... So the machine puts in an algorithm to give the desired output. Like some sort of algorithm happening here. Which gives the desired output. So that is one way of... So this is how the basic of machine learning works. Okay, so, so let's just put in one real life example because you know, that's pretty much obvious. So let's say that you have an iPhone, you know, an iPhone. Okay, so, so sometimes iPhone have the Siri app but you know you might not understand so whenever you like press siri you have to give it some questions and it answered so let's just say that the input is a question for now q slash input and then let's say you said hey siri can you tell me question and then it, it gives the output which is an answer slash output so that's one real life example. So, so where is machine learning used? A bunch. Many apps also used use machine learning. Like let's say Uber, for example. So whenever, actually maybe not app, but let's say like web browsers. So whenever you like put in anything on the address bar, it like gives the desired output by putting an algorithm to go to the, like, you know, to any output. Like, let's say in the address bar of Chrome, maybe, you know, that's the thing I use. You typed, you typed in something that says, just a question, because it automatically redirects to the web browser it's using. I'm not the web browser. And just the default thing, anyway, whatever. So whenever you type anything, blah, 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 it gives the output by giving you the answer. So that's one example of how apps use machine learning. So there are many apps which use machine learning and so on and on that you can't really count them. Okay, so that's the basics of machine learning. So bye-bye guys, see you next time.